Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining my Node Talk. My name is Ashley Ramos, and I'm the Key Account Manager of the US for Avenon. My Node Talk today is on Takeoff Ready. So today we'll be, dis we'll be discussing exactly what Takeoff Ready is, why you should use it, how it works for an operator and a broker, and lastly, there will be some time for a Q&A. So first off, I'd like to start off with some background on Takeoff Ready. Avenode has had immense growth over the past few years, many thanks to all of you, our brokers and operators using the system more and more each day. However, as we've grown, we've received an increase in complaints about the accuracy of our scheduled data. Specifically, that an aircraft showing up in the search results might not actually be available. So we've designed Takeoff Ready to be a platform where operators or sellers can market and promote the capacity they want to sell. If they know crew is available, the owner isn't flying, and the aircraft is ready to go. We are focusing on availability over the next 96 hours. So now I have a question for you, and we'll do this by a raise of hands. Out of the 600,000 requests flowing through the system on a monthly basis, how many of you think 8% are for trips departing in the next 96 hours? None. Who thinks 40%? OK, we got some there. 27%? And 15%. None for 15. So can I get a drum roll, please? The answer is 40%. Wow, that is a huge number. So now, if you're good at math, that's 240,000 requests flowing through the system on a monthly basis for trips departing within 96 hours. And if you break that down by day, that's 8,000 requests. Are you still wondering why you should use Takeoff Ready? If you're a seller, we're giving you the capacity to market and sell exactly what you want to sell. You're also going to receive more exposure in the search results, allowing you to increase your charter hours overall. If you're a buyer, you're able to see the most accurate aircraft availability, allowing you to book charter quickly and more efficiently. So now let's jump into what the process looks like from a seller's perspective. So think of this as another way of viewing your schedule. The existing colors here represent the schedule activities we're reading from your fleet management system. So across the top, we have the dates, and the dotted line marks the 96th hour. On the left-hand side, we have your aircraft listed in alphabetical order by type. And then at the top, we have a fleet filter to narrow down your view. In order to promote a slot, the time must be at least 12 hours in length. If you hover over it and it turns blue, that means the slot is eligible to be promoted. To do so, you'll simply click on the slot and notice how this availability window appears. From here, you can confirm the aircraft, its location, and even adjust the duration of availability. Do you have crew with substantial experience in type and category um, that suits the needs of large wholesale buyers, such as NetJets, Wheels Up, ExoJet? If so, you can select high time crew. Lastly, you'll click Promote, and notice how the slot turns green. So on the flip side, let's say you want to block your availability. Let's say you're on an owner trip and you'd rather not receive requests. You can open up that slot again and toggle over to the Not Available. You have the ability to adjust the duration, and then you can mark as Unavailable, so you will not receive requests during that time period. It's also very easy to remove these promotions if something changes. But I would like to know, if you do make a schedule change in your fleet management system, we will automatically remove the promotion for you. So now I'll jump into what it looks like from a buyer's perspective. From here, you'll conduct a normal marketplace search, entering your city pairs, your dates, times, number of passengers, and a minimum category. Once you press search, we're filtering through the 3,400 aircraft we have listed in the system today. And notice how on the left-hand side, we've added a new Takeoff Ready filter. You can now filter by Takeoff Ready and Takeoff Ready with high time crew if your mission requires it. Once you make the selection, the search results on the right-hand side narrow down. If you hover over the icon on the right-hand side, 
you will be able to see who at this operator company went into the system and manually verified this aircraft is takeoff ready. Lastly, you will make your selections and send the request off to the operator. They will then be notified that they've received a takeoff ready request. And that is all I have for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to stop me after the show. Thank you.